In this video we're going to open up the Rocky Mounts guide rail platform hitch rack and assemble it. This is a hitch rack with the two inch guide rail. You can also purchase the inch and a quarter guide rail too if you have the smaller uh, hitch. Alright this is the hitch mount I am replacing which is the Thule dual bike hitch mount. Uh, was actually a mistake from the beginning but what do I know actually rail mounts weren't really available back in the previous century when I purchased this so we had to do what we had to do and one of the things we had to do is we had to purchase that bar there so we could hang it on the rack to begin with well needless to say I was very happy to discover the rail bike racks like the one I just purchased uh, it's going to be much easier to mount you know they really don't sit on these things very well it's one wheel up one wheel down it's a real mess also I'm going to have to sell it in the yard sale because I went to the bike shop to see if they'd give me anything for it and they literally would not give me anything for it <laughs> literally they did not want it. Not even for free. No kidding. Oh, let's see what I'm getting in here. Oh, good. Made in China. All right. Let's see what's in the box. All right. Step one remove the top. All right. Well, it looks well packed. I can say that. Let's see, I said it was $850. Um, let's see, you can get a Thule for $850, the one up from $650 to $850, the Quick Rack Mach 2 is $1,100 for a dual. Uh, Volvo is $530, but that's like the Thule I just showed you. Don't want it. There's also, if you want to just spend $100, there's like a Max Haul on Amazon. But that doesn't have a rack. It's just some uh, some place for the tires to sit into. All right, I'm going to work over the carpet here and uh, see what all we have. I would think this is hardware and words. So I do see some paper and I do see some. Ooh, tools. Paraphernalia. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it came with a lock, the chain. That's some heavy duty stuff right there. Okay, there we have everything in the box. Four rails and the center rack. Some tools, a lock, and with a key. So we'll get into all that. Okay, the assembly instructions have you putting it together on the car. So let's do that. Okay, they're calling this the wheel tray bar. There's two of them, have two racks. All right, this is your wrench. Uh, this is 19 millimeter. I'm not sure about that one. Let me look it up. Here's your wrench. I'm measuring 15 and 22. Now that's to the tips. So it was just easier to measure that way. Have four bolts, uses a six millimeter Allen that is provided have two keys, a lock, and then the hitch pin which comes with two washers and they're saying to mount this from the passenger side so as you're looking at it it'll go in this way so this lock will be on the driver's side that's what the instructions say okay the hitch has a ball to keep it from shaking so it'll fit firmly uh, there's some brands that have a, 
let's call it a bar. It's kind of rounded on the ends and straight in the middle, about an inch long. They claim that fits better up here on the top of the receiver. So we will put this in. Goes in really well. Wow, for my vehicle, it stopped right in place. So all the way in, and it went in. So I just need to adjust it just a hair to get it all the way through. Wow. I see, then it screws in. Uh, we had the lock washer and then the flat washer up against the receiver here. And that's what this tool is going to be for. So we'll tighten that down. Now if you get this guten tight, I don't really think you need the lock, but we will put the lock on there. There you go, easy peasy. Now don't lose the key. So there are three positions, three locking positions. There is the stow position. There is the use position. And there is the tilted position. You know, if you need to get into the uh, tailgate or something. So, and all three positions lock. So that's good. All right, let's get into the sum assembly required position and do some assembly. All right, this is how they wanted to assemble the rack lever, if you will. They want these facing out and on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to remove these protective pieces here. Oops. And there is a left and right. So if you can see black on black, there is a channel right here. And it's flat over here. That channel is going on the forward side. Let me get a shot of that. Can you see that? That's where the channel is going to ride. And even though I'm in super close-up mode here, just gonna slide on there hit the camera and then it stops on its own so it's on there and it stopped let me put on the other side so here is the other side there's the channel end it's gonna go on there just like that next the wheel tray bar is gonna go in place and the rounded side goes in the bottom flat side on top all right we'll line everything up uh, to move the tire holding rack just unlock it lift it up out of the way same thing for the other side and once your bolts are started we'll just tighten them down all right let's secure these down All right, that's one rail. All right, let's do the other rail. Abracadabra. All right, that was easy. With the bikes off the rack, you could definitely open up the tailgate without an issue. I mean, there's just plenty of clearance. All right, so let's put it in the three positions again with the rails on. All right, you're at the park or wherever you go and you're riding around, so there you are. You don't uh, have it sticking out side of your parking space. So then when you're ready to mount your bikes back on and go home, it locks in place. And if your bikes are mounted and you need to get into the back, you can hit the tripod and put it in, <laughs> in the access position. which they call the tilted position. All right, let's put some bikes on there. All right, for whatever reason, my bike seems to go on first, so let's put on the first bike.
If you have an electric bike, I really wouldn't call that a rail. I guess you could make a rail if you wanted to ride it up there. Uh, you'd have to get over the bump though, which I'll show later. All right, step number one. We don't need this anymore. All right, let's mount it up here. There they are. Okay, let me show you the lock. First thing you want to do is unlock the lock. Put the key in, turn it, pull it out. There's a large end and a small end. The small end's going into the lock. So what I'm going to do is I am going to feed the small end around. Put the large end here by the lock. Feed it up through the bike, down through the second bike, through the opening. All right, once you're wrapped around both bikes, put the small end here and lock it down. Now your bikes are locked. Now you can still tie them down even further if you'd like. I mean, they aren't going anywhere, but you can tie them together or otherwise, you know, put some bungee cords on them if you prefer. So there's still some reinforcement you could do if you really, really want to, but it's unnecessary. So there you have it, the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail Platform Hit Track. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day.